What's going on guys? Gangster Days here, back again with another video. And today, we will be starting a new Dark Souls character. So, the whole premise of this series, guys, is going to be you, the subscribers, and or viewers. See, we're level 9 right here. We start out as a knight for a class. You guys will be shaping what this character turns out to be. So, I am going to almost take votes from comments, guys. So, if you see this video right now, we're starting out. We're just knight. Um, the first couple rounds, I'm going to put a little bit into health. A little bit in, um, I mean, vigor, a little bit into dexterity and strength. I'm going to try to just keep those even for maybe, like, uh, get them both maybe to, like, 16 or something. But from then on forward, you know, as we play through and level up the character, um, we're going to keep them topped out at, top is going to be possibly 150, but we'll keep them right in between 120 and 150 for the top end. But from what you guys want to do, so comment and, you know, uh, your suggestions down below and you know the most of whatever we get is what we'll go with basically so you guys will kind of shape how the character turns out to be from what we put our levels into oh look at this some poor soul died here fighting this crystal lizard I wonder who it was but what from what we pull our uh, souls into you know what direction we take with the character what he turns out to be it's going to be awesome so I mean we could end up with anything we could end up with a quality build we could end up with a strength build. We could end up with a freaking sorcerer. God, I hope not. We could end up with pyromancer. We could end up with anything. Um, so it's almost be like playing Dark Souls from your couch or your toilet if you're watching while you're taking a dump. I don't know. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Games for Days. Uh, I have a lot of Dark Souls videos, as you can see. And uh, I have some other games on the channel as well, but Dark Souls is my main squeeze. It's the juice worth the squeeze. So we are going to go through, guys, and we are going to get every single item in this goddamn thing. So I'm going to be extremely thorough exploring every area. Um, I'm pretty sure I know where everything is. I know there's a couple bits that are a little tricky. Might not come to memory, but I've already been through the game seven times. So this will be the eighth, but it's going to be a new character. Um, the name of the character is Games for Days. Space in between each one. So if you guys are Xbox One owners and you're going to be fighting in the arena, PvP, or anything like that, you might go ahead and see the character we're making here. Um, his skin is bright red, so that's how you'll know. I was going to call him the Sunburnt Warrior, but I've decided just to name him after the channel. So I remember we got to go up here and kill these bitches. So the shield is so funny, like when you start out with a knight. You really see how like valuable using a shield is. And I know I really don't like playing with a shield. Um, PvE in some instances is good. Like, a lot, actually, with a lot of the, you know, weaker enemies. Um, they're not able to really do shit. They kind of just bounce off your shield. So that's a good tip, man. If anybody's ever having issues with Dark Souls playing through the PvE base game, um, use your shield. Get a good shield and use it, you know? Uh, if you can't get the roll, the roll timing down, shit like that. I remember this game first came out, guys. You remember everybody had issues with this first fucking tutorial boss. So I worked with this guy, and, uh... He was telling me, he was like, I can't even get past the first boss. He was like, he told me he ended up returning the game. And I was like, the first boss. I was like, I was like, are you talking about the tutorial boss? I was like, you know, that's not even really the first boss, right? And he's like, what are you talking about? I was like, yeah, the one that you're talking about. I was like, it's not even. I was like, that's literally the boss that you like practice on. And the guy couldn't fucking believe it. He was like, oh my God, holy shit. I was like, yeah, dude, that's crazy. So. I was uh, just playing on my other character too, my high level character. Uh, I'm trying to beat what's his face there, the Nameless King. Holy crap, the Nameless King on New Game Plus 7, guys, is a beast. He kills you basically in two hits. Um, a lot of times, when I mean, I can take the dragon down pretty quick. What I do is I use Sunlight Blade, or not Sunlight Blade, um, Sunlight Stake, I think it's called. It's the Lightning Bolt or whatever, the, the Sunlight version, though. I'll have to look and see what it's called. But anyways, you use that, put on both rings that boost your uh, miracles, and also put on your sage ring plus two, man, and that dragon, just keep targeting the dragon, hit him with the lightning bolts, hit him maybe like five, six times. Even on new game plus seven, five, six times, gonna kill him. Um, the dragon's real weak to lightning, but then when the guy fucking, as you guys know, stabs it, kills it, takes his power, and you gotta fight just him off the dragon, that's where I have the issues, because I've only fought, the, you know, I fought the Nameless King maybe five times out of the seven that I beat the game. But, you know, every time, it was always real quick, like, fighting him. I never really memorized his moveset, so. Here we go, man. 
Champion Gunder. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said Champion Gunder. This is just Gunder. Spoiler alert. Jesus Christ. So, tip right here, guys. If uh, you're new to it, if you're if you like the guy I worked with and you're having issues, um, just start attacking the Gunder as, as soon as you pull the sword out. You know, don't let him stand up first and start hitting him because those hits you put in even before his health bar pops up does register as damage towards him. So it's not too bad. Also, the fire bombs you find. Um, wait, we don't have fire bombs at this point. Never mind. I was thinking about the pussy man. If you're the pyromancer starting class at this point, shoot a fireball at it. Cause fire fucks up the, uh, the darkness, if you will. Darkness is spreading. Jesus. So what I like to do is just kind of stay close at this point because if you get a little far back, the uh, that big huge hammer starts trying to slap you all around the ring, and that's just not fun for anyone. So it's gonna be sweet, man. I'm excited to see. Uh, hopefully, you guys, you know, comment on the video, and hopefully enough of you do, so we can have almost like a vote in the direction we want to take the character. Because uh, it would be cool, man. I'd be excited to, you know, have the character be created, but not with my decisions, but yours, by your decisions. I have to think of a good, uh, good way to do it. Uh, maybe. Like at the end or beginning of one of these videos, we can like look at our stats, you know, have the screen there for a while, and then you know, you guys vote on what you want to put points into. Or we could just look at the starting class for the night, or I can get you what the stats are there. We can go from there, or we can be kind of vague about it and don't have to be so specific and be like, you know, pyromancer, strength build, this, that, yada, yada. You know? And if you guys don't get involved, I'll just make the new character. But anyways, I'm going to get this character to level 120. And then, you know, we're going to do a bunch of different builds with it at that level. I'm going to respec. Um, I'll make sure I get into the bedroom of my lover, Rosaria, before we get to that point. Um, there's a lot of people that have issue with high level um, things. It's really not their thing. There's a lot of metal people out there that like the 120, 150. So I'm going to make this character so we can start doing, you know, videos and builds at the quote-unquote meta level. And we'll see, you know, how different things are at that point and how we do in the arena. Nice. So we're still basically one shot these guys. The night starting class is pretty decent. It's not bad. one shot in those fools. So we're just really going to play, guys, till we get up uh, to Firelink here. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun 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 -dun. Who's over here? We know who's over here. Swordmaster. Remember, a lot of people were also having problems with this guy when the game first came out, too, man. I don't think I ever really did. I think the first time, actually, guys, I went to go fight this guy. He fucking jumped off the cliff. Oh, and you get fucking attacked from behind by those guys. I forgot about that. Poppies, you better knock the shit off in there. Knock it off. Why, man? Every time I go to record, these dogs think it's fucking free, freebie land time. I don't know. Here we go, Swordmaster. Telling tales of dancing in between the blades, and that's why he dresses like he's homeless. What weapon do you get from him? The, uh... It's not Ubikiri Nubadachi. I forget what katana it is. But then, if he jumps off the cliff, you also don't get his weapon, I don't think. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Part two. He was like, no! Splat! Yeah, you don't get his fucking weapon because he fell off the goddamn cliff. Are you kidding me, dude? Come on, man. And he doesn't respawn either. Dark Souls, you peace. Ya peace! God damn, man. So this is gonna be sweet. I'm excited to see. So, there were some people also saying that, um, because, uh, sometimes, like, the brawls are messed up. Like, I can get in the brawls, but I don't. I just don't do a lot of videos with the brawls, because they're just chaotic fucking clusterfucks. But, um, you know, I think my other character is level 195. So, this one, if we keep him at 120 top and at 150, we should be able to get into all that stuff a lot more. Or at least see if the Xbox community is still popping, if you will. 
I know that PS4, a lot of people play on PS4, especially with my subscribers. For you guys, a lot of you are on PS4 compared to Xbox One. It sucks. I want to play with you guys, and I freaking can't. I might get a PS4, man, um, around January, February. I'm going to try to. So check it out. We're going to give a point there into Vigor just to get a little more health. Yeah. Farewell, man. We'll see you soon. First, my subscribers got to tell me what we're going to do, and I'll be back once I know. So guys, if you like the idea for the video in the series, drop a thumbs up for me. Also, subscribe if you're new here. This has been Games for Days. We're going to see you on the next one. Don't forget, let's uh, comment down below to find out what he's going to be. Peace.